What's up guys and welcome to the Car Wars YouTube channel. So the day has finally come where we get to pick up the GTR from the frame guy. So we just got a call from the frame guy. He said that the GTR is actually ready for pickup. So what we gotta do is grab the trailer hook it up to the truck and go pick that thing up. But as some of you guys know, I have been recording updates of the GTR as he was repairing it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw those in before we actually pick it up and then we'll just pick up from there. But also guys, at the end of this video, we will be announcing the winner of the last giveaway in our last video. And we are having another giveaway. We're giving away another shirt. So guys, make sure you are subscribed to our channel, uh, follow us on Instagram, and then come back to the YouTube channel. Comment in the comment section, say uh, GTR for this video, do GTR, and we will pick another winner for another shirt. But for now, enjoy the progress of the GTR. All right guys, so we got, what is this? Update number three. He is straining everything out. He's finally cut it back. Uh, we actually have to change one of the inner tie rods. They're bent. But he's cutting it off. And then he's gonna... He already put this one on. So he already put it in. There's where he can weld through and join it. So this one is pretty much straight. straight and put this one on. And then he can uh, put the whole big unit, put everything together, the hood, fenders, bumper, everything. That way he can make sure all the gaps are perfect and then he's gonna start welding it. But this one right here, he's gonna be test fitting it here shortly. It's coming along little by little. Everything's nice and straight. He just has to start welding the rails on. Well, first test fitting and then welding. And then he said everything's, the rest of it's easy peasy. All right guys, so here we are for update number, what is this? Three or four, the next one. So look at that. He got these test fitted, they are not welded on. And he put this reinforcement on. He's test fitting everything right now. We got the headlight on and the fender on. Also test fitting, you know, just making sure the gaps are good. So there is work in progress. It's starting to look like a car. He's gonna start probably putting the other fender on. Same thing, headlight. Just make sure everything's all good. All right guys, so it is update number five. The guy has called me and he said, come check it out. Make sure you like everything before I start welding it all together. Check this out. It is starting to look like a car again. Look at that, so the body lines he put everything all together. It is not welded. Let me show you guys. So it's not welded right now. It's just holding on. This is all temporary to make sure all the body lines are perfect. And I mean, these lines, these gaps are just on point. Everything, the headlights, the bumper, the hood, everything's just lining up really good. Now, as soon as everything's okay he's gonna tear the whole front apart again back down to pretty much as naked as it can be and then gonna start welding and then he can do a final assembly this bumper we're not gonna use it this is just a temporary this is all OEM parts so all the lines are gonna be OEM so when we're gonna be putting on the body kit we're gonna have pretty much we're gonna match it to the OEM lines all right guys, I'm back at the shop. Ooh, look at that. He's working on a Porsche, but update number six right here. This quarter panel is still, he's about to start working on it, but the front end is pretty much complete. He actually welded the whole thing. I missed the update for when he took the whole front end apart, but it is now all welded in. I'm gonna open this up. He got the coolers mostly standing in there. It's all standing intact. I mean, it's almost the same thing as last time. He has finished the front end up. Now he moved on to the rear. So he has been working on this quarter panel. It is pretty much straight. This obviously is gonna need a little bit of body filler. But check this out. 
the quarter panel is pretty much see this kink came out as soon as he started working right here and then this corner it just needs a little bit of body filler but look at that it's all coming out we still have to get the little air duct with the little flaps we ordered a new one we forgot to order it but we ordered a new one it's coming in tomorrow so he's gonna make sure the window is perfect but everything's coming out nicely he got the new uh, brackets mounted already as you can see there was a tiny little kink right here he pulled it out he said he's still gonna work a little bit more to do the final touches to make it nice and perfect so that's the update on the quarter panel let's see yeah he's knocking it out from the inside and wherever he can get in this quarter panel is still not touched for now so as you can see there's a big old dent right here you can see how the light shines on it so he's gonna be working on this one here in a little bit as soon as he finishes the other one all right guys so we are back with update number seven Look at this. So this is a temporary bumper that we're using. Uh, we borrowed from one of our buddies while our body kit is coming in. But we just needed it for these corner pieces. So this all, all the lines, everything's coming out perfect. This side also. Over here the corner was perfect so it doesn't really matter. But look at this. It still has a slight slight dent in it like little dings right here but it is almost done he's still working on it all right guys so the day has come for us to pick up the gtr Woo! it's been a little bit this is this right here is not even the original bumper off of it this is another guy here had a bumper ours was crushed we just needed it for for him to align this quarter panel yeah to align it so we're gonna get this thing unloaded and uh well take it off the frame machine and load it on the trailer and take it back to the house and we'll show you guys what we got going on there because it is pretty late already he's theoretically closed but he waited for us so we can grab this thing so let's get this baby loaded up So we got this thing loaded on, I had to help Peter. But man, this thing looks like a regular old Nissan with the bumper like halfway. Maxima. Looks like a Maxima with half the bumper missing. Well, just the lip kit. But we're gonna strap this baby down and take it back to the shop. All right, so we are back. Gotta get this thing unloaded. Check it out, it almost looks like a drift car without half the rear bumper. It's kind of cool, but it looks funky. By the way, it doesn't have a cab back at the moment, so it sounds a little crazy. Alright guys, so we got it unloaded. Let's look at what we have. Super exciting. Finally got it back and I'm loving what I see. All right, so overall, I'm really impressed. Guys, sorry about the road noise. We're literally right next to the interstate, so that's gonna interfere with my recording. We can't put this in the shop because the Z06 is in there, but let's get back to the car. So, I mean, I'm really impressed. Look at all these gaps, the headlight, everything is, everything's super nice, like super factory, all the gaps, nothing looks funky nothing looks out of place besides this front bumper you know that's been repaired but the reason we went with the all original parts is because we wanted to make sure everything is aligned everything is put back in spec before we start putting aftermarket stuff on it this looks really cool just back to how it's supposed to be compared to how we got it it almost looked unfixable to me. I mean I'm so glad we waited and gave him time and had him work with it and just put it back in back in spec so moving on fender looks good fender to the door looks good door looks good I'm impressed with these quarter panels look at what we got just a little wrinkle right here a little bit nothing crazy moving on 
this right here and then this right here everything else is straight just a little bit of body filler probably some finished glaze and it'll look just like OEM as I mentioned before this rear bumper isn't even off of this car a buddy of ours let us borrow it because it has this perfect corner and we used it as a template for the quarter panel I mean he used it right here put it all back where it has to be just a little you know some paint chipped off over here but that looks really good now this trunk looks really messy we already put an order in for a carbon fiber one without any holes because our spoiler won't be a trunk mount it'll be coming out of here kind of like that but we're still gonna have the big wing so we're getting rid of this trunk lid moving on this quarter panel also looks really good man would have been a shame to swap out this quarter panel if you can get it this nice just giving it to somebody that knows what they're doing but yeah just a little bit of here just paint chip and a little bit of body work here it looks really nice I mean I'm I'm impressed with with what we got here and then the door it looks really bad because of the auction they use that window tape and all that resin or glue is still left on there I mean it's right here all over on the roof and we are back to the front I'm gonna pop the hood and we'll check it out what it looks like inside here it is also looks really good everything is where it's supposed to be nice and tightened down right here this front bracket so none of the radiators fans nothing still in here we have to assemble all of that but we can't really do all of that because we don't have the inner cooler we put an order in for a large front mount intercooler just because it'll look better with our that front body kit that we're getting so that's still probably gonna take like two weeks to come in but besides that I think we have everything else well besides like the um, radiator fan motors and modules those should be here shortly and then there's the factory exhaust so it's funny I came in to check up on the GTR and he had this out and I'm like what's going on he's like well I almost got it back to how it's supposed to be I'm like what are you doing with it he's like I almost fixed it I'm like, we're not using this. We're going after market. He was like, what? I had this thing all all fixed. Just need to replace the tips. So yeah, that's how good this guy is. He just, he fixes everything. But yeah, so we got an aftermarket cat back coming. It is such a good feeling getting the GTR back in this shape, knowing the bones, the frame, everything is back in factory spec. and. It looks really good. We still got the body kit coming from China on a ship. So hopefully the Somali pirates don't mess with our ship. That way we can get that on time. And then our four Steiner wheels are still three weeks out. So we're still waiting on that besides a bunch of other little things and big things. All right, we had to step inside. It was way too loud out there. But like Peter said, we are waiting on the wheels and the body kit. I mean, it's gonna take about three weeks. I just talked to Vorstainer the other day. It's gonna be like three weeks for the rims to come in. Uh, hopefully the body kit comes in before that. So in this video, we wanna decide what color we're gonna paint the GTR. And like we did last time, we're gonna let you guys pick the color on this thing so for those of you guys that are new and don't know what's going on we are going to be changing the color on the gtr we're already going like kind of crazy with it going wide body and getting sweet rims for it so we are going to change it to some kind of hot color something that's going to pop when you drive through traffic something bright so we actually have four options uh that we already chose and we're going to let you guys choose from one of the four so you guys will be able to pick whatever color you want whichever one wins um that's the color Color, we're actually gonna paint the car and actually guys let's do the poll right now so somewhere in one of the corners I'm gonna have the thing pop up uh, the poll and you guys pick what color you guys want it's gonna be either orange a bright orange a light blue a purple or a yellow so we're gonna have four color options guys go ahead and pick what color or pick what color you think we should do this GTR and we're literally gonna paint what color you guys decide I mean we will probably decide the shade that we want to do but the color is gonna be your guys' choice so if there's a color that you really want and you want the color to win go ahead and share this video with your friends so you guys can you know you guys can see the poll who's winning so that you can make the color that you want come into reality because this color change or the color of the car is literally based on this YouTube video also guys our shirts are available on the 
Teespring's website. So go pick yourself up a hoodie or a shirt if you don't want to wait for the giveaway. Uh, that is, that's always an option. The link is going to be in the description. But now it is time to announce the winner of the giveaway from our last video. All right, so the time has come. Um, I have pulled up the video. I preloaded all the comments already. And um, I chose newest first, so the oldest uh, comments are on the bottom and we are here at the bottom. I clicked uh, Control F and typed in Corvette. We got 116 possible uh, comments. And now we are gonna go and choose 116 one, and generate. So we got 46. Let's see, we got, okay, so on the bottom, 46, and that's one, two, three, four, five, six, 44, 45, 46. All right, 46, yeah. So, Mike Bledsoe. And we got Car Wars right Whoa. there. Subscribe, Fall. subscribe, all right. All right, Mike, so you are the winner, so go ahead and reach out to us and we'll send you a shirt. But guys, share this video with your friends, put your input on the color, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.